Hi everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today I am recreating an old painting that I did a couple of years ago on my YouTube channel and I want to see if I can recreate it and make it slightly better than I did and see how much I've improved in two years and I'm a bit scared because I hope that I've improved. I think I have. I, well, I know I have. Must have. Artex gave me these watercolour paints and I have been itching to try them. They're these Paul Rubens 5 milliliter 36 colour tube of watercolour paints and I'm ready to go. And they just look really nice. I really like the packaging. It's kind of quite sturdy. They sent this to me for free so I'm not sponsored or anything but I thought I would try them out. They look really nice. They have some embossing here which is like a, a nice little nice little touch. Ah, this is cute. They've got this nice, I keep saying nice, like what person? Ooh, they gave me so many colours. This looks really cute. I can't wait to try these. Not much else I can say about them. I think they're really well packaged and they look interesting and if I saw these in a shop I would be like, hmm, yeah, I want to try these. But yeah, okay, let's let's try them out. They're very nice. Help me. I'm like, they're nice. They're very nice. They look nice. <coughs> these are very nice and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use them. Also going to use this Langton paper that I got in Japan and I had a smaller version and I'm really looking forward to using this. The only thing that I hate is this uh, ring binding. I think that is kind of like annoying because you have the tops. I don't know, it's a very personal thing that I don't like about sketchbooks and some people do like those. There were a few things that I wanted to concentrate on when I was thinking about doing this redraw. Originally, I was so pleased with this piece, I even had it in an exhibition and I loved it so much, I sold it to a good friend of mine. And now, looking at it, I feel like I see so many mistakes that I just couldn't see before. And so, what I wanted to do was make the pose a little bit more dynamic, maybe change the ghost slightly, and yeah, just I want to keep the same colours and type of style of what the girl's wearing because I wanted to convey this that it is actually like the same painting, but again, and yeah. Those were my goals and I think the, with the pose I looked up the different poses because we bought this book in Japan that had a lot of different poses in it and it's to help with reference of drawing people and I thought that really helped because in the original one it just seemed like she's sort of standing there looking pretty and there's not much purpose to her, not much story going on there. Whereas this one I feel like she's walking through the woods at night coming home from school maybe or doing something dangerous anyway and there's some ghosts coming out either to protect her or I don't know what you know I haven't thought that far of the story but she's wearing a big rucksack because before she's just kind of walking with nothing and there's no not much to the story there so in this new one I created her to have the big rucksack and she's coming home from school or something and she's taking a shortcut and it's dangerous and she's a little bit scared but she's kind of brave as well so she has this expression of yeah okay I'm scared <laughs> I kept the witchy shoes that she has in this original one I really like the way that her costume well it's not costume her clothes looked in the original one and I like as well the kind of blush that's on her shoulder and elbow and face even though that isn't technically like a thing. I just like it. I like the way it looked so I wanted to incorporate that in the new one. In the old one the trees are kind of doing whatever. They're going up into the sky and they're just like lines of pink colour. So in this one I wanted to try and concentrate and make the trees look a little bit more realistic but I did like the way that it looked like she was just going into this thick growth of trees. So I wanted to replicate that a little bit but also make it a little bit more realistic and I'm not sure if I succeeded on that front but it was fun to do. I tried to have a little bit more depth in the trees and you'll see that I create um, more colour on them like different colours instead of just that pink purpley glow. In the far distance in the background you can see in the original there's like this blue glow so as if she's going into this light so she's walking through the woods and then she's coming into a clearing or something that is glowing there's something magical ahead of her that is shining the light through. I really like the way that looks in the original one so I again I had to put that in there. I eventually go in with some white and I try to give a little bit of an illusion like as if the light's bouncing off around her. I think it works in the end. Mm -hmm. 
I tried to keep the colours similar to the original but I thought light yellowy green in the foreground doesn't really work so I added a bit more blue to the foreground of this one and it also adds some patterns with the masking fluid. So I use this masking fluid pen and at this point I'm a bit scared because I've seen sometimes that masking fluid can rip up paper like I've seen that happen to people so I was like well I could do all this work and then eventually it will just rip up my paper but you'll see what happens and I just put four ghosts in this time and I didn't add in the bunny ears so I masking fluid did that's not a sentence I put masking fluid down where I wanted the ghosts to be and some sort of patterns and sparkles around them because I wanted to show that they're kind of magical beings and I didn't add the bunny ears because I thought I regretted that in the original piece I remember doing that and then being like oh why did I do that even though even though it's a nice idea I just I didn't like it so much in its execution so this time around I just wanted some neat and you know recognizable ghosts and they the design of them has changed slightly significantly from the original but i think i prefer it i don't know what you guys think maybe you prefer the bunny ears i do think it is a cute concept and maybe i'll bring it back into another piece but for this one i wanted to just keep it without the bunny ears <laughs> if that makes sense So talking about the paints that Artex sent me, I do really like them. I think they have a really nice quality to them. They water down really well and they have a great colour range. I didn't run into any problems with them. They layered well, they gave a good texture and it was interesting to look at. And when you use a lot of water with it, it um, spread out quite well. And yeah, I think these are pretty cool paints and I'm really glad that they sent them to me. I will definitely be incorporating some of these with my custom set that I made that has Jimin K and Newton. Windsor and Newtons, I would say these fit quite well. These are probably a good set for a beginner as well because they're good enough to not get frustrated with but I think they're reasonably priced too so if you guys want to check them out I think they're probably on Amazon I just got sent these that this is not sponsored I'm just reviewing them basically I think that it helps that the paper I have is this Langton cold press watercolor paper I I think this paper is one of the best that I've come across for watercolours in my opinion. Maybe it doesn't work so well for the way other people do watercolours, like I'm quite a messy artist, I like to spread colours out and add texture and do something and I go with like the emotion of what I'm feeling and I just put down texture with a brush and different strokes and I like to see how that colour would spread out and maybe I can put another mark down there and that's just something I enjoy in my work and maybe it's something you don't enjoy so if you like very smooth clean cut imagery then maybe the paper is not the best for you but I would say get some if you like watercolours and you like a more painterly style is if that's the correct way to describe that I'm not sure if that's fair or not the whole image is looking quite nice. I'm glad that I mixed the pose up a little bit. It looks a little bit more realistic from the original. The original is a fine pose. It's okay, it does a job, but it doesn't really tell a story. And I know I'm saying this and there's nothing really changed that much except that she looks a bit more realistic than the fact that she's looking back over her shoulder and it looks like some a pose that a person would do rather than just kind of floating on top of the image because I think in the old one she's there and it does look like she's just stuck on with some glue or something whereas this one it looks like she's part of this this environment I believe. I went in with some pencils and I peeled off this masking fluid and I peeled off this masking fluid. I used a rubber then I realised it's kind of easier with my hand to just brush it off and be quite gentle with it. I think if I was a bit rougher it might have teared up the paper but it did really well. It didn't tear up the paper at all and I was quite surprised with that because I was really expecting to just be really disappointed with it but it was pretty good. I think if it gets a bit older maybe it will rip up the paper. I have no idea with masking fluid. I've only ever used another one and that came in a bottle and it stank of like fish and I don't I didn't enjoy using that whereas this one didn't smell like anything and it was just really easy to apply and it dried really quickly so I'm pretty pleased I bought that pen if I ever find them again in an art shop I think I'll pick up a couple I went in with some pencils that just give some more definition to certain areas a little bit more pops of color and I always do this this isn't just because of this watercolor I like to use pencils and mixed media with my work I do that a lot so this is 
nothing to say about the the paints or the quality I just like to do them I went in with that white pen as well the um, that is super opaque so you can pretty much draw on top of anything with it and I just evened out some of the lines of the sparkles on the ghosts and stuff and it really helped it really worked and I think that's so nice when you buy one of these things and you expect it to be super opaque and it does actually cover up really dark colors and things I think that's really cool and so yeah overall I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out I'm glad that I hit the marks of what I wanted to do changing the pose to a slightly more realistic one changing the ghost slightly and overall I think the painting itself is a little bit more well done I believe anyway and the colors are more popping and everything there's a bit more depth to the image and I think that is that is it okay so that's my final piece and I think it turned out pretty nice I am pleased that it turned out better than the previous one although I kind of like the old one as well I changed it quite a bit from the original as I probably talked about this is the final piece and I hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know what you thought about it and yeah, I hope to see you again next week and have a great weekend if you're in your weekend or, or day if you're watching this another time. Okay, bye!